Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. As we are speaking now, Sheikh Ngao Juma has become the target of the government for speaking truth to the government. This is one man who will always tell the government reality of things as they happen on the ground. He has never blinked his eye. He has faced the president and he has always told him the truth. But because of this, it is now going to cost him. Adel Dwale was attending one of the uh, Muslim events and this is what he said. I quote him. I am speaking on behalf of the president. If you deal with Sheikh Juma Ngao, we will not recognize you as ambassadors. The truth is that William Samuel Ruto is using Aden Duale to deal with the Muslim leaders who are not aligning with his government. Listen to Aden Duale shortly. Don't allow Jumangao and his organization to sit anywhere. And I want to ask them, the ambassadors, I want to ask the ambassadors. If you deal with Jumangao, we will not recognize as a government. I am, I am speaking on behalf of the president. I am speaking on behalf of the president. And uh, going forward, you have seen all our government functions. The prayer will be made by the Qadi. Do you saw him in Jamuri Day? We will choose who will pray. Marinta is the Uludin Halfad Elai. Nin to Umamat Sokato and Maduina. Nin Uluma or Sharafle or what the Galagaya Kando or Muslimin to Murkuhori. Now, on this particular today, we want to analyze some of the reasons why William Samiruto is trying to silence Sheikh Juma Ngao. But before we go deep into that, just a quick request for those who are watching and even if you subscribe, please consider subscribing. Return the subscribers. Thank you so much and to all our viewers, please, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you and back to this discussion. As you have heard from Aden Duale, CS for Defense, a man who is speaking on behalf of the president, he is saying clear that we have Kadis who will be praying during public function and Sheikh Jumangao should not be given an opportunity to pray. It means if you are criticizing the government, if you are not praising this team, you will not get time to pray unless you are praising them. That's the time they will call you to pray. That is hypocrite. So it means when you are telling the government the truth, they will not like you. They would only like to associate with those people who are massaging them. As simple as that. Since I was born, up to now, I have never seen anywhere or had any leader, member of parliament or a CS intimidating or threatening pastors or bishops for criticizing the government. They have never. And anytime they will try this, in fact, you will see pastors coming up in their numbers to defend one of their own. But this government, Iratuanyesha Mambo, Iratuanyesha Mambo, this is the first time the government is condemning publicly a man of God, a servant who is serving God for telling the government the truth. And the reasons why, before we go to the reason, the first thing that I am learning here is that William Ruto has panicked. If Ruto was not panicked today, he would have not sent Aden Duane to deliver this kind of message using unkind words to the Muslim community and Sheikh Juma Ngao. First of all, that is a sign of panic. But again, why panic? Number one, Sheikh Juma Ngao has always come out to tell William Samuel Ruto to stop practicing tribalism in the appointment in government. This is one 
of the few individuals who are telling the president the truth, reality is that during campaign, Sheikh Jumangao said that choosing William Samai Ruto is choosing tribalism. People did not listen. It did not take long. When Ruto formed the government, what the Sheikh said finally came to be revealed. <laughs> exactly what he said, William Samai Ruto, if you take in his government, half of it is Gemma. Another half, it is Rift Valley. Kalenjin. And then the rest, Meachua Zile Ndogondogo Munatupiwa to share there, like that. So the prophecy came to happen. It was a warning. And it is true as of now, and as of late, and we did a video about him again, when he was in a, somewhere in the coast region, eh? one of the counties there. Kule kuna kuna kinaisha jumu, kuna ituaji. Somewhere there. There was a function, eh? And they came out to expose how William Samai Ruto has formed this government. It was largely his tribe and eh, the gamer. This is not making William Samai Ruto comfortable because he's already being exposed as a leader who is focusing on eh, tribal politics. He don't know how to balance the geopolitics in this country. Again, he's a man who has always come out strong to condemn corruption in the government. And this also is not making this kind of the government comfortable around such kind of a leader. They don't need a leader who will tell them when they are practicing corruption, when they are practicing nepotism. All manner of things they will do. They don't want someone who will tell them the truth. And the truth is that this government is already massaging corrupt individuals. Many cases have been dropped. We have seen people withdrawing cases from the court. DPP has been forced at a case to continue. watu wapewa kazi. Kina Isho Jumwa, Akina Mithika Linturi. There are many people you can mention them. In fact, Mithika Linturi had 31 civil cases. But all of this was dropped to give him time to work in the government. So look at that. Such kind of things. The latest issue was the issue of fertilizer. <laughs> fertilizer in Meleta Shida. Number one, there was information that the Morocco government gave free fertilizer to this country. But what did the William Samaru administration do? They decided to sell this fertilizer to the farmer in the name of giving subsidy. It was no longer a subsidy at all. Because if you try to compare what Uhuru Kenyatta was giving, it was more cheaper than what William Ruto gave. Uhuru in April was giving fertilizer at 1,800. William Ruto came to power and he was giving at it at 3,500. But we know Ukienda kwa aggravate wanauza elf sita. So we are comparing government to government and private to private. So we cannot compare government to private there. So comparing government to government, it is a comparison between Uhuru Kenyatta government and the William Ruto government. Uhuru was giving 1,800, Ruto is giving 3,500. Okay? There was no subsidy. He talked about that thing. Number two, he questioned the president. Why are you giving farmers fertilizer when we are not in the season of planting? You are expecting us to plant what, where, and how. Msi msi wa kupanda. Hamuna majira ya mvua. Wewe umeleta mbolea. Natuambia tupande vyakula. Alafu tuvuna na sasa kisha. Beye vyakula itarudi chini. He was serious about this. And he was clear. He told the president. People are suffering. And because he's saying the people. I believe he's saying the truth. People are hungry. What they need it is subsidy. He called on the president to bring back the unga subsidy until when people will harvest and then they see if the price will go down, then subsidy will be removed. Hiyo ilifanya rutu wa kasirike kwa sababu alikuwa na semu kweli. I was surprised. I watched news and it's not surprising even. Somewhere in Turkana, 
where some uh, contractors are wanajenga kule so the villagers will wait after contractors wameenda lunch wakimaliza kukula ile mabaki yenye nabaki ndio wanapewa imagine mzee wa miaka sabini kwenda kukaa anangojea watu wa kula chakula ndio apewa sasa mabaki na hawa sasa ni kwa sababu tu wako karibu na wale watu wanafanya mjengo ukiangalia afya imeharibika people are hungry people have been dying of hunger but because Chef Jumangao is bringing these things out. This government is not comfortable to hear such things. And he was right to call on the president to bring back the subsidy. And again, he was clear when he said that this fertilizer will not help anything to reduce the price or cost of unga in this country because even the price is higher compared to what Uhuru Kenyatta was giving. He was right. So many things This is a man who believed in Raila Molo Dinga's leadership. For him it was said that if Raila will take over power, he can at least have some wisdom to understand on how to lead this government to avoid the issue of tribal politics, to bring everyone on table and then give Kenyans affordable life. 6000 shillings per every family, poor families. Baba care. If we had baba care, I'm sure the people, people of Turkana We not be suffering today. Raila would, not, would have not removed the subsidy. He would have reached out to these people. The only person who is reaching out to these people of the let I saw Pastor Zakir who was taking food to Turkana. I'm yet to see this government taking enough food to Turkana. What they are going they are trying to do wanaenda kule tuna chakula kidogo wanapiga picha basi wanaonyesha kwamba wamepea watu chaku people are dying. These are the reasons why William Ruto is not comfortable with the such people so we are seeing religion leaders being attacked and soon because we are not islam itakuwa ni wa kristo and from there everyone is going to be silenced but it is high time we stand up and tell the government the truth aden wala should be condemned for criticizing sheikh juma ngao He should not intimidate him. He should not try to sideline him. He is not the leader of Muslim community in this country. He is not. And he shouldn't try that direction. It is wrong. It should be discouraged by everyone whether you are a Muslim or a Christian. Say the truth.